One of these young ladies was recently elected Queen of the United States Armed Forces. What is your name, please? My name is Theodora Smith. What is your name, please? My name is Theodora Smith. What is your name, please? My name is Theodora Smith. Two of these people are imposters. Only one is the real Theodora Smith and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. Now, here is our host, Bud Collier. Thank you very much, and good evening, and welcome once again to To Tell the Truth. Now may I introduce our panel and first tell you that Polly Bergen will be back with us next week, she told me yesterday. Tonight, sitting in for Polly is the co-star of the Broadway hit play Gazebo, Miss Jane Meadows, and next, the star of Sunrise at Campobello, Mr. Ralph Bellamy, a lady who is embarking on a new career as a lecturer, Miss Kitty Carlisle, and our Emmy Award winner, Tom Poston. Now, panel, will you please follow along with your copies of this first affidavit as I read it. I, Theodora Smith, was born in Brooklyn, New York. After graduation from high school, I became private secretary to a railroad executive. On February 27, 1958, I enlisted in the service and am now stationed in New Jersey. One week ago tonight, in competition with girls from the other four services, I was selected as Queen of the United States Armed Forces. Signed, Theodora Smith. <laughs> now, panel, you just heard these three lovely young misses, all claim to be Theodora Smith, Armed Forces Queen. Let's begin this first round of questioning tonight with Tom Poston. Tom? Uh, thank you, Bud. Uh, number three, uh, what is your job in the Marine Corps? Well, I do recruiting, sir. You do, do you recruit men or women? Women. What a waste, huh? <laughs> That's a shame. Number two, where is the Grand Concourse in Brooklyn? I'm afraid I don't know, sir. I didn't live in Brooklyn too long. Moved when I was very young. Oh, I see. Number one, do you know where the Grand Concourse is in Brooklyn? No, I don't either. Number three, do you, by any chance? Oh, no. Very young. <laughs> Uh, number one, how many letters or spaces make up a word in a speed test on a typewriter? How many letters or spaces? How many know? letters or spaces? Yes. I'm afraid I don't know. Do you know what I mean, number two? I believe so. Five. Five. Thank you. Uh, number three, what is rolling stock? Can you tell us, please? Rolling stock. Number two, do you have to... She may not be able to tell you, but I've bought some. Uh, Jane. Number one, if you didn't live long in Brooklyn, where did you graduate from high school? I graduated from Dumont High School. Where is Dumont High School? That's in Dumont, New Jersey. New Jersey. That's right. Number three, did you receive any prizes for being Queen of the United States Armed Forces? Yes, I did. What did you receive? A bridal gown. How lovely. <laughs> You're getting married, hmm? Would you like to buy one? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, are you getting married? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Number one? No, not right at the present time. Poor girl. <laughs> I would like to ask number two, where did you get the uniform that you have on tonight? This is my uniform. This was issued to me in basic training. Well, Ralph Bellamy. Uh, number two, I want to go back to a question yes. that was asked earlier that you uh, didn't have a chance to answer. What is rolling stock? I'm afraid I don't know. Number three, did you get a chance to answer that? I didn't know that. Either. Number one, do you know it? No, I don't. I believe it has something to do with the railroad, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number one, <laughs> you know, like uh, track. Where was the competition held, which you were? Uh, the competition was at the 43rd Street USO Center right here in New York City. And number two, who are the other uh, competitors? There was one representative from each of the branches. What were their names? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't remember. Number three, Kitty Carlisle. Number three, where are the halls of Montezuma? Mexico. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
What are the Number knees two. on a ship? Number <laughs> two is Queen of the Armed Services. Did you march in the parade on Saturday? No, I did not. You mean the Queen didn't march in the parade? No, I rode in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, when you were a secretary, what sort of, I mean, number one, what sort of uh, a system did you use for shorthand? Oh, the, the shorthand that I took was Greg. Greg, is that what you used? Yes, it was. Uh, number three, where is Paris Island? South Carolina. And that's it. It's time to vote, panel, so without consultation, will you kindly mark your ballot? And as you always do, select number one, number two, or number three team of challengers, as usual, will get $250 for every incorrect vote. Okay, panel, have you all voted? Jane, yes. for whom did you vote this first time? Well, Bud, I voted for number two because she seemed to be the only one that knew that there were five spaces. I don't know anything about the spaces, but she knew that. <laughs> and then also, number two walked down the staircase with a more military air than the other two, I thought. I'm okay. probably wrong. Okay, Ralph? Uh, number two. Uh, even though she didn't know what rolling stock was, there were a couple of other answers. I can't even remember them now, but they seemed correct, and the other two didn't seem to know them. And her haircut looks like, uh, I think, more of a military haircut, perhaps. <laughs> Kitty. Well, I voted for number one. Um, she didn't know what the rolling stock had to do with railroads, and although she didn't know about the spaces, which I don't know about, Greg seemed to counteract the spaces, so I voted for number one. Would you care to go through that again, please? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what about your vote? I voted for number two... Also, Bud, for uh, exactly the same reasons that uh, Ralph and Jane had, uh, the haircut was a factor and the uh, answers to the questions that seemed accurate to me. Okay, there we have it now. You see the way we voted, and if you're playing along with us at home, as you trust you do each week, uh, you'll find out now as well as we do, just how right or wrong you may have been. We'll find out which one of these three ladies is the real Armed Forces Queen. So may I ask the real Theodora Smith... To please stand up. <laughs> I think you'll agree with me, they made a good choice a week ago. <laughs> Number two, may I ask you who you really are? You got all of the votes here, and what you do? I really am a private, but I'm afraid I'm a private secretary for ah. Lever Brothers Company. <laughs> Thank you very much. And number three, what about you? Well, my name is April Taus, and I am a designer of men's neckwear for EULA in New York. Uh, Teddy, may I ask you what you do in the Air Force? Well, I'm a stewardess. I fly for military air transport service out of McGuire Air Force Base. Uh-huh. And do you recommend a, a career in the service for a girl? Yes, I do. I, I very strongly recommend it for any young girl. The opportunity, the opportunity that you have in the service is really terrific. Education, which they strongly stress, they even uh, give their people, uh, well, a certain amount of money to finish their education, mm -hmm. college, or whatever it may be. Uh, travel is important, which, of course, I do an awful lot of traveling. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful life in the Girl, she's course. making the pitch. If you want to sign up, you better do it right after the show. Thank you very much. In checking the score, we find there were three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 from Marlboro for you three to whack up. On your way out, you'll find a carton of Marlboro cigarettes for each of you. Thank you very much for gracing our show. Good night and good luck. <laughs> now, panel, let's meet our next team of challenges. What is your name, please? My name is Joey Pierce Jones. What is your name, please? My name is Joey Pierce Jones. What is your name, please? My name is Joey Pierce Jones. Again, panel, will you follow along with your copies of the affidavit? I, Joey Pierce Jones, am an 18-year-old high school senior. My major interest is science, and this year I completed a project entitled Experiment, Design and Application of Solid Propellant Rockets to Radiation Studies of the Upper Atmosphere. With this project, I entered the National Science Fair. I won the top award. As part of my experimentation for this project, I fired two homemade rockets 247,000 feet into space. Signed, Joey Pierce Jones. 
You heard these three young gentlemen panel claim to be Joey Pierce Jones, teenage rocket scientist. And we'll start this round of questioning with Kitty Carlisle. Kitty? Thank you, bud. Number one, it says here that you shot off a rocket that went 247,000 feet into space. Did it blow up? Did anything go wrong? It went 470,000 feet, and nothing went wrong. Well, what are you sitting there for? Why aren't you at Cape Canaveral? It <laughs> could sure use it down there. Um, number two, is it against the law for civilians to shoot off rockets? As far as I know, there's no law against it. It's up to the civil authorities. If it's safe, they'll permit it. Uh-huh. Number three, what is the high, what is, what is, me, what is the newest type of high-powered fuel made of? The one I used, or? No, the newest type that they're using well, now. Well, I would say that solid propellants are, and they use thiocal and potassium perchlorate, probably. But what about, uh, uh, <laughs> hydrogen? <laughs> Ma'am, is anyone hydrogen? using hydrogen? Uh, no. You mean as far as liquid propellant? Yeah, uh, propellant. Uh-huh. Well, they are using hydrogen. Tom uh -huh. Poster. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Uh, number three, I'll stay with you for a minute. Who helped you, uh, build your rocket? My father. Is he a scientist? Uh, no, he's a traveling salesman. <laughs> Just like, like an Cape Canaveral, I guess. Could, uh, number two, could you give us the chemical formula for sugar, please? <laughs> sugar, I'm afraid I couldn't. Uh, how about you, number one? Which kind? C6H1206 is one. What about granulated sugar? <laughs> C, um, C12H2211. That's close. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm asking questions here out of a failing grades in high school chemistry. But number three, what is the result of mixing ferrous oxide and sulfuric acid? Well, I would presume that the ferrous oxide would be sort of eaten up. <laughs> number one, how about you? Are you ready with that one? I'm afraid not. Jane Meadow. Uh, number one, it says here that you won the top award in the science fair. What did you win? I won $125 WISH award and $75 in cash uh, and a trip to Miami. To Miami. Uh, number one, where do you live? Sarasota, Florida. Big <laughs> 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 deal. Oh, well, number, two, number two, if uh, nothing happened to the first rocket, why did you fire two? Well, see, the purpose of the rocket was to find out whether cosmic rays were actually uh, strong enough from the sun. Oh. We fired one in the afternoon and one at night, uh, well, approximately one o'clock in the morning. I see. Ralph Bellamy. Uh, number one, an easy one, I guess. Where was the fair held? Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, number two, who were the second and third in competition? Second and third in competition? Yes. Well, see, there were two different divisions. There was well. a first prize for the uh, boys uh, or the men's division, and there was per first prize for the women's division. But the women's division was a biological. So actually, there were only... Uh, <laughs> weren't, you, weren't you competing? <laughs> yes, but there was only one prize, one first award. There wasn't I, the second and I third. See, I see. All right, number three, uh, what are the three layers of atmosphere, and which did your rocket center? <laughs> well, the three layers, starting from the Earth, would be the stratosphere, uh, the, or rather the troposphere, the stratosphere, and the ionosphere. And uh, this one probably entered the ionosphere. The layers are not real certain. Probably did, or some other fear. You can't tell from where I'm sitting. But it's time to vote once again. So without consultation, will you please once again mark your ballot. And select number one, number two, or number three. Okay, everybody mark their ballot. Jane, you ready? Oh, this oh. is the, they're the most intelligent looking three boys I ever saw, and at 18 years old, it's awful. I'm voting for number one. I've forgotten what he knew that the others didn't know it was a formula of some kind. Something I never heard of Well, before. Tom confused him as to whether he meant lump sugar or granulated yes. sugar, but... Uh, <laughs> he knew lump sugar, he knew lump so sugar. I'm voting for him. <laughs> Ralph? Uh, number three, it was between number two and number three, and number two didn't know the formula, and number three knew a lot of other things. Okay, Kitty Carlisle. Oh, dear. I voted for number two. <laughs> I didn't think number one knew about sugar. And I don't think you do either. <laughs> and number three hesitated on the three stratospheres, ionospheres, and the first sphere. And number one 
Nobody asked him any questions, so I voted for him. Okay, Tom Foster. I voted for Bud I mean, Collier. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I voted for number one. Uh, the sugar wasn't quite... One was right and the other one was close enough. And uh, I tell you, Bud, it's obvious that we're confused. They're three very bright boys and... Right. and uh, Two of them are great liars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever come on I Got a Secret, fellas, look out. <laughs> All right, there you have it once again with our voting and our reasons. And let's see how we made out as we discover which one of these three bright young men has proved to be the uh, teenage rocket scientist. So will the real Joey Pierce Jones please stand up? Oh. <laughs> well, you fooled them well. Number one, would you tell us who you really are and what you do, please? My name is Burr Heenemann. I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut, and I'm a student at Greenwich High School. Here, see you there, aren't you? Number two, what about you? My name is John Carroll. I work for J. Walter Thompson in the mailroom. <laughs> well, I thank you very much, fellas. You have scored very nicely. There are one, two, three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 from Marlboro. Enjoy it. Good night and good luck to you. Now, panel, let's meet our third team of challengers. What is your name, please? My name is Claire Smith. <laughs> what is your name, please? My name is Claire Smith. What is your name, please? My name is Claire Smith. Again, panel, your attention, please, on your copies of an affidavit. I, Claire Smith, am a native of Switzerland. Although I am the author of 15 children's books and am also part owner of a successful restaurant in Zurich, my major interest since childhood has been yodeling. Under the name of the Smead Trio, my two brothers and I have made over 300 records and have appeared at all the major cities of Europe. I am considered to be the fastest yodeler in Switzerland. We are currently headlining in the stage show at Radio City Music Hall here in New York. Signed, Claire Smead. Three pretty Swiss misses, all claiming to be Claire Smead, Swiss yodeler. We begin this questioning with Jane Meadows. Jane? Number three. What does Oleo Lady mean? <laughs> Oleo Lady. Isn't that what you say when you yodel? No. No? <laughs> Number two, what do you say when you yodel? Well, we certainly not... Uh... Oleo lady? lady? Okay. <laughs> this is what the grocer says. The lady says butter, he says oleo lady. Oh. I... <laughs> Number one, what's playing at the music hall? Uh, uh, count your blessings. And number two, what's playing at the music hall? Count your blessings. And, and number three, echoes. what's playing? Count your blessings. That's funny. I thought it was imitation of life. Where have I been? <laughs> um, number one, there are three languages spoken in Switzerland. Is that right? I think four. Four? I think so. Uh, number two, would you say I love you in German? In German? You mean in Schwitzerdeutsch? Uh, Schwitzer take your Deutsch. pick, French. <laughs> Ralph Bellamy. Um, number one, it's, it says you're a fast yodeler. What, what is the virtue of being a fast yodeler? I think it's a natural talent to yodel. Oh, well, that isn't exactly what I meant, but it'll do. Uh, how do you measure, number two, how do you measure uh, yodeling? What's the measure for a fast or a slow yodeler? How many yodels a second or whatever? <laughs> well, there is, you can't exactly tell uh, by a stopping time. Um, there is a yodel contest, and each one has a different uh, way of yodeling, her own style. But you just know it's the fastest. I mean. Number number three, uh, Kitty. Uh, number one, um, what is the uh, canton that Lausanne is situated in? Number one. What? Huh? What? Uh, number two, what is the other name for the Lake of Geneva? Lake Geneva? Yes. Lac de Genève or Pen Hmm? 
Lac de Genève or Game for Sea. What is the other name of the Lake of Geneva, number three? I don't know. Number one? <laughs> I, I don't Where know. is Edelweiss found, number two? Edelweiss? Yes. Edelweiss Alp or what? Where, well, the... <laughs> Where is Edelweiss found, number three? Edelweiss is found on the Alp. Uh -huh. It's a flower. Tom? Thank you, Bud. Uh, number three. <laughs> number three, are you really Swiss? Yes. Good. I'd like to talk to you about this watch. <laughs> I'll ask number one. Uh, in what language do you write your children's books? In German and in Swiss. German and Swiss? Number yeah. two? What age children are your books written for? Well, as soon as they can read very well, I mean, uh, six to ten, so. Is that ridiculous? How could a six-year-old kid read German? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Number three, as a restaurant keeper, what is the difference between sauce Bernays and Chateaubriand? Can you tell me? Oh, I, I uh, beg your pardon, I didn't understand the way well. Time to vote, panel. Well, what does that bell mean? Number you three. please mark your ballots and vote for number one, number two, or number three. All set, everyone? It's a little longer to mark this round. Jane, have you marked yours? Well, or whom did you vote? I haven't the vaguest idea, to be honest, but I'm going to vote for number one because I've discovered so far in this game that the one that knows them all is not the one. <laughs> number two knew them all, so I'm going to vote for number one. Okay, Ralph. Number three, just a hunch and no real reason. Kitty? I voted for number three. Number two didn't know what Edelweiss was, or perhaps didn't understand me. And number one said four languages in Switzerland. I think it's only three. I'm sure I'm wrong all the way down there. <laughs> and Tom, your vote. I voted for number three out of sheer loyalty to the rest of the panel. <laughs> Dear. Well, there we have it now, and as I said before, if you're playing along with us, watch now and check on yourselves and see how right or wrong you are. We'll find out which one of these three ladies is the real Swiss yodeler. So will the real Claire Smead please stand up? Thank you very much. Number two, would you tell us who you really are and what you do, please? My name is Elizabeth Rueck. I'm secretary to the assistant sales manager at Mercedes-Benz Automobile Company. Thank you. <laughs> and number three, what about you? My name is Miroslava Nachotska, and I'm from Czechoslovakia, former Czechoslovakian ice skating champion, now professional ice skating in the United States. Thank you. Beg pardon? Well, I'm Jordan, I think we'd all be interested in hearing oh, what real yeah. fast, good Swiss yodeling would sound like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could I impose on you, Claire, and ask you to do some for us? Yes, I'm glad. Go ahead. <laughs> Nice way to go picking Edelweiss, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it still sounds like a Leo lady to me. <laughs> <laughs> you just well, can't exactly. miss with Italian Swiss. Jane. What did you say, Tom? What are the four languages? What are the four languages? What are the four languages? Are the four languages? It's uh, Romance, Italy, French, and Swiss dialect. There you Romance. are. Romance. 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 Where do they speak? That? Latin, between Latin and Spain. Uh -huh. That language. Okay. Let's check the score now for them. Again, you did very well in fooling the panel another time tonight. And we have three incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $750 again from Marlboro. On your way out, you'll find a carton of Marlboro cigarettes for each of you. Good night, pretty girls, and good luck to you. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Polly, we'd be glad to see you next week. And Jane, it's always a joy to have you with us. Thanks Thank for you, sitting Bob. in. Thank you. I've enjoyed it tremendously. Hurry back, Polly. Yes. I guess that's about it. Good night, panel. Good, good night, night Bud. Bud. Now, this is Bud Collier saying good night from Marlboro and reminding you to tell the truth. Good night, everybody. <laughs> to tell the truth is Marshall Bill Hunter, in association with the CBS Television Network. <laughs>